I'm Jomo Esther Omam, the Executive Director of Reach Out Cameroon. I'm here at the United States Institute for Peace to participate at a roundtable discussion on conflict-related sexual violence. We know that women are the backbone of every society and excluding, excluding them from where decisions are being taken is not fair. And so the WPS reminds us that there is need to bridge the gaps and make sure that there is equal distribution of roles, of resources, of everything, and that women also have their place. They should have a seat at the table just like men. When it comes to education, they should be given op equal opportunity just like the male child to go to school. When it comes to employment, they should be given equal opportunity. When it comes to conflict resolution, they should participate effectively and you know, be at the table just like the men. Be considered, be included in all the peace building uh, processes which uh, take place in the country. I want to start from the beginning. In the Bakasi woman, who was never seen, who was not known, became known through our actions. And we have them today leading councils, being councillors, some being at the Senate, and then uh, others occupying positions of influence. And same with all the other women. We made sure that women had voice spaces where they could articulate their narrative, which today is the same song in our country. When you hear about women peace builders today, it is thanks to the, the, the actions which we carried out to bring these women on board. Today we have so many women's networks. There was none yesterday. Yes, but today you have a multiplicity of them, thanks to our actions. And today we have been heard we, we are being heard at highest level in our country. When we knock the doors, they open those doors for us to get in and say what we have to say. This is what is happening today in our country. Even though we still have a long way to go, but our, can, our actions has, have contributed greatly in bringing the women together, making them to find agency, to get agency, and to articulate their issues through an organized narrative that makes the country, that makes the administrators, administrative authorities in our country and international partners to know that women are there. Women peace builders are also there. There is hope and it can be achieved because while we talk to each, while we, we've started talking to each other, we also have friends, friends who are talking to us. We have allies who are talking to us. What do I mean by that? I mean that we have the international community who has been supporting us, who are also talking to us to make sure that we come to self-realization, to understand that if we don't talk out our issues, if we don't sit and talk out our issues, our differences, uh, it will be difficult you know, for us to forge toward a brighter future. And so um, we are trying to mend the broken glasses. And we will only mend the broken glasses where there is total understanding by everyone. There is hope because you have the women who are longing for that hope, because there are children and youth who are longing for that hope, because there are men we're longing for that hope, so there is hope. Mm -hmm.